Hey everybody, Halu here, and today I want to talk about something that I've seen a lot more recently and with all the Halo tournaments going around for the World Championship in Seattle and stuff, I've seen a lot of people say that Halo is dead, Halo Esports is over, competitive Halo is over, and I feel like a lot of people don't really realize why that might be, honestly, so I think it goes back to Reach. Did Halo Reach kill Halo as an eSport? Did Bungie just not care? Was it 343's fault? I hope, I hope to answer some of those questions with a little dive into the history of competitive Halo and what happened to what was once one of the largest eSports scenes and how it started to fall apart. A lot of people, including myself, point to Reach as the start of the downward spiral of competitive Halo. Up until 2010, Halo was doing quite well after the success of Halo 3. Then, with Reach being released, the views for streams started to fall off, amateur teams started to show up to tourneys and lands less and less, and this snowballed into MLG electing that Reach should be replaced on the circuit. But before that, they basically gave them the ultimatum to the, to the whole community that if they could show up in force and show that they still love the eSport that is Halo, then they would reconsider and keep Halo on the MLG circuit, but... That didn't happen. Apparently the community didn't bring enough support out for the game. Halo was dropped. But why? What was so unappealing about the game? How could the top dog of FPS's fall so far so fast? A lot of players will point to in-game mechanics as the culprit, and they may be correct. Weapon bloom on the DMR, movement settings, sprint. You know, the abilities of the Spartans basically seem to turn Halo from a game of chess into something less strategic. It basically turned into a team shooting simulator with an opponent having the ability to prolong their death through abilities such as armor lock and jetpacking. You could say it was boring to watch as a spectator, which in turn caused a low viewership. If it's not exciting to watch or even play, no one will continue to support the game as an esport. It's not very fun to see two groups shooting at each other and then just running away from the fight. And that kind of sounds like Destiny 2, but once again, I digress. Others complain the game attempted to be too much like Call of Duty, that it strayed so far from what made Halo different and appealing. And with Call of Duty asserting itself as THE FPS game to play on the MLG circuit, there just wasn't going to be room for Halo that, you know, wasn't quite a Call of Duty and not quite Halo. And we saw that with a bunch of former Halo pros moving over to Call of Duty. There's something exciting about just, you know, bare bones gunplay, the map, limited power-ups, basically the player versus player atmosphere. If somebody beat you, they basically beat you fairly and probably outsmarted you. But in Reach, it felt like gunplay and strategy was pushed back and things like, you know, the DMR Bloom, Armor Lock, poor map design and others became the new wave. In fact, the community had to use Forge-based maps, all gray, bland in color, and I believe that this too affected the amount of people that wanted to watch competitive Halo just because of how much of an eyesore it was to tune in and watch the tournaments. I'll also say that the migration from Halo to Call of Duty and other games was a catalyst for the continued growth of Halo as an esport. With that fan base booming in COD, it was apparent that MLG would pick that up as the flagship, which would further push Halo out of the spotlight. A lot of people will argue that Halo 4 ruined competitive Halo, but for me, it was way before that. I think the continuation from Reach to Halo 4 to the Master Chief debacle did not do any favors to the franchise. Hopefully with Halo 6 we see a resurgence in the esports side of Halo. Maybe we even see some of those COD pros migrate back over. How crazy would that be? As always guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you think that Reach was the beginning of the end for competitive Halo or if you think you have other reasons, let me know. I would love to hear them. But that's it for the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.